Give him out the cheese. Give him the cheese. <laughs> Ponderosa. What are you doing? Pondy. What are you doing? Get down. Ponderosa. <laughs> Ponderosa. Give me the cheese. <laughs> Give me the cheese. Give me the cheese. Oh my gosh. He dumped out all of the cheese. Give me the bag. Come on. Come on. He wants it. Everybody says, oh, you don't feed him enough. No, no, I promise you. He eats all day long. He just wants everything. He's got the metabolism of a teenage boy on the football team. No. No food can be left on the counters. No food can be stagnant. Nothing is safe. He's stolen food off of my desk while I'm working. No. He gives himself away once he actually gets his food. You hear this growl. It's kind of like his calling card that he has something. Um, excuse me. That was my breakfast. And then the moment you go after him, he just takes off right up the stairs. Nothing is stopping him. And I think he secretly really loves that. He wants to play that game of chase and come and get it. <laughs> Dude, you're getting cheese everywhere. We have loved fostering him. And I would keep him in a heartbeat just because of how much he makes me run up and down the stairs after him. Bundy, what are you doing? Is that your shoe? I know that his perfect home is out there. And somebody's going to appreciate his quirk and send me a message following up one day saying, I'm so happy I have this cat. He definitely keeps me feeling alive. He has such a high passion for food and to be played with and then just to be loved. And he kind of proves is that cats are quirky and he's the quirkiest one there is. Did you do that? He's a perfect accompany to a home that is, understands that he's going to jump on the counter sometimes and he's going to try and steal your food. But in all fun, he's going to love you back so hard that you'll understand why he's the perfect cat. <laughs>